Um, I wanted to read a poem. I've always been interested in how um, Scotland and the North of England have really close links. And there are also similarities in language. I was interested to hear Dorothy's chowing from her um, Scots narratives because chowing, chowing or chowing in Yorkshire is, has the same, the same meaning. There are lots of other words that are similar. Um, this poem is about learning a new language. Um, it's also about place and about the close links between the two countries. And it's called Grandpa's Story. In the soles of his shoes he carried soil to cushion his feet on the journey north. He turned his back on the black earth of Brinsworth, Baton, Barnsley. He sampled Cranachan and Cayleys, Neeps and Tatties, Haggis and the Odd Dram, found work in the capital city, swigged tenants with his new pals, carried his peace in his pack. His world was rooftops, his tools, metal, hammer and slate. From the houses of Leith, the false blue haze seeped under his skin. His language fell away. He exchanged misses for wifey, united for hearts, tan for scalp, whinge for gurn, loony for bampot. His flirts with the skirts in the shops ended with lassie, not love. And when he bevied too hard of an evening, he boked. <laughs> Sometimes on Saturdays he took to the Pentlands, climbed Turnhouse Hill and searched the skyline. He tracked the peaks of Kerketon, Carnethy, Scald Law. In his mind there was Stanage, Kinder Scout, Froggart and Mam Tour. Sheffield Soot merged with Pentland Peat and the earth in the seams of his shoes spilled out. Thank you.